Good everybody, it's Matt here and today I have got the One Mo Backpack and Shoulder Bag from PGY Tech. Now it is a 35 litre maximum capacity bag. The backpack itself is a 25 to 30 litre bag and it's got a built in shoulder bag inside of it, which is five litres. Now this backpack was a little bit tricky to get into. It uh, comes in this plastic lined paper, so it's tear resistant and it's been stitched shut. As you can see, this is the black model, which has red little detailings on the back of it. It has two shoulder straps, which have these handy pockets for tucking them in out of the way and it is really nicely padded. I find this actually sits really well on my back and feels really comfortable to wear. It is breathable too and it has those fixed chest straps and there's actually also uh, the option to add some removable waist straps. We've got this little pocket in the left strap, so left when you're wearing it, which is great size for uh, a smaller phone, a camera remote, that sort of thing. And we've got a bunch of these little handles everywhere as well. So there's one in the middle at the back of the bag. There's one on the top of the bag. And of course, those back straps do have some adjustability. The right-hand side of the bag, we've got a pouch, uh, which is great size for a small water bottle, mini tripod, that sort of thing. Uh, we do also have this hook and clasp system here for hooking a tripod or other larger device onto the side of the backpack. And we've got a bunch of these little loops around the backpack. And basically there's some extra straps inside that let us create straps between these loops. For, so that's really handy. On this same side, we've got our first of those little pockets, which has a mesh section in it, as well as a zippered section. Uh, so pretty handy. And another one of those handles on the side of the bag too. Also down the bottom, we have that little elastic loop there. If you're hanging a tripod off that side, it's a great way to just loop it in there and hold it in place. Over here on the other side of the backpack, we've got side access in this top zippered pocket, and that gives us access into the top compartment of the bag, which does have a bunch of individual compartmentalized sections. And we've got a zipper pocket in here, which is RFID protected. This lower zipper gives us access to the bottom section of the backpack and also to that shoulder bag, which does pull out of that side section there. Without the shoulder bag in it, it's one big open pocket, which is pretty cool. It does also have some dividers, which I'll show you later, uh, that let you split that up into smaller sections. On the back of this zippered section, we actually have three battery pouches. They're a good size pouch. You could fit drone batteries and that sort of thing in here quite easily. And I really like these little switches that are color coded, red or green, to tell you whether the batteries are flat or charged. And we've also got a little PGY Tech decal in there. Now, getting into the bigger sections. On the top of the bag, we have this bigger zippered section, which unzips to reveal our first expandable area. And so this lets us expand the top section of this bag out to add quite a bit of extra space there, essentially making it more rectangular and less curved on that top section. So unzipping that, it's just an open pocket and there is a decent amount of room in there, mostly in the top where it expands. Down the bottom, there is less space and it does then have that bit of an angle though leading into the main pockets there. So getting into the main section of the bag, we have the zipper that runs all the way around the backpack and it essentially opens off the back of the bag. So great for being a little bit more secure and also for accessing everything. So right at the back there, we have our laptop pouch, which is big enough to fit a 16 inch or even a 17 inch laptop quite comfortably with Velcro enclosure on top. We've got these straps in here, which as I mentioned, they hook onto these loops. They essentially create more looped strap sections and so on to hold extra things on the outside of the bag. We have all of these little dividers in this section, which are Velcro adjustable, and they both stick to each other and also to pretty much any side of the bag. We've got that fixed divider in the middle there, which can be removed. So you can unvelcro those clasps and pull that out to create one larger section if you wish to. And without that shoulder bag, which is also removable from this direction, there's tons of room in there. And we've got these big dividers on the bottom here that let us split it up into multiple sections. And then we've also got this Velcro uh, elastic pouch here, which can obviously be moved around anywhere on the bag because it's felt pretty much everywhere. So you can stick it wherever is convenient for you. And as you can see, these dividers are 
exactly the right size to fit that space. And then right down the bottom there in that little Velcro pocket is where the raincoat is hidden on the outside of the backpack. So you can see we've got that little covering there. It's just a little black raincoat and it's elasticized to fit on top of the backpack and protect it from the weather. That just folds up and goes straight back in there and that Velcro is shut. So these straps, uh, two of them are for side straps, as I mentioned, and two of them are actually the removable waist straps. So they just hook onto these loops. And so you then have a waist strap that you can just clip together and, and that works really, really easily. Coming into the shoulder bag, we've got this top pocket, uh, which is a great little pocket for quick access. We then have this second zippered section, which we open that up and it reveals the zipper for an expandable section which actually lets us put quite a decent amount of stuff in the top of this shoulder bag. There's tons of room in there. You could actually fit a small water bottle pretty easily, as well as plenty of other stuff for like a day trip or that sort of thing. So tons of room in that. Coming down is actually the main section, which the zippers are on the back of that for where it would sit against your body, which is again, great for giving things that bit more secure. Up the top is a mesh zippered section. So you can see through it. And we've also got our shoulder strap in here and it's just an easy clip on. So it clips onto those little loops and you can also clip it onto the side. So we've got either side or top for that shoulder strap, depending on how you want to access the bag and how you want to use it. Inside, we've got a couple of more dividers, which are easily adjustable. And I really like that each divider can kind of be used in multiple ways. It's really cool. And they're the same dividers that are used in the backpack itself. So you can mix and match them depending on what you need. So plenty of room in there to fit camera and some, a lens or whatever you might need just for a quick day trip where you don't want to take your whole backpack. The material on the outside feels like a bit of a a bit of a vinyl kind of material, a faux leather sort of thing. It does feel quite nice to touch. It has that kind of nice matte finish with just a little bit of glossiness to it. Really comfortable on, even when it's full and quite heavy. It doesn't feel like you're carrying around as much weight as you are. On the bottom, this pouch for the raincoat is also a sturdier material again, so it just gives you that little bit of extra protection. I definitely feel like this is a sturdy, tough bag. The zippers are all quite hardy. They're all metal zippers. And pretty much all the zippers are also done in ways that make them a little bit harder to get into if you don't know where they are or how they work. A lot of them are hidden or in awkward locations. So I feel like it's a pretty decent bag for keeping your gear safe in when you're walking around too. So that's it. That's the PGY Tech one mo backpack with built in shoulder bag. I really like this backpack. I think it's a great one for your travel gear, your camera, drones, whatever you're taking with you as a backpack with that really handy day bag option when you don't want to take everything with you. It is the right size for carry on baggage, but do be careful with that expandability. It'll definitely be an overhead cabin storage, but it is the right dimensions for that with most airlines. If you're interested in getting yourself one of these, I've stuck affiliate links down in the description. Make sure you hit the thumbs up to like this video and subscribe. Have an awesome day and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.